I'm currently studying the Graduate Certificate in Autism Diagnosis. I'm about halfway through that course um, and basically I, I'm really interested in autism spectrum conditions and um, at the moment I'm really interested in psychology which is encompassing behaviour, learning and mental health um, and my role is focused in schools so um, that's working with staff and students. I think autism is quite a complex condition and a lot of health professionals um, might be scared to make a diagnosis or don't have much understanding about the condition. Um, so I think this course has really increased my confidence um, in the ability to make those decisions and to recognise what is and isn't presenting similarly to autism. Um, and I think that applies not just to psychologists but to speech pathologists, um, to paediatricians, psychiatrists, um, but also those not involved in the diagnostic process. So generally passing that knowledge on to teachers teachers um, and parents and students who may have autism themselves. As a school psychologist, I'm not actually accredited to diagnose autism um, as part of that collaborative team, but in doing this course I'll receive the accreditation to be able to take part in this process. Um, so one of those components is the training in the ADOS, which is the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule. Um, and this is basically the gold standard for autism diagnosis. So in doing this training, I'll receive that accreditation, which will enable me to take part in this diagnostic process. The course is very linked in with some of the key um, diagnostic services in autism. Um, so we have that opportunity to participate in some of the best diagnostic practices and working with very experienced clinicians as well.